Hey everyone, this is MC. Here I have a short classic haircut for you with a part. It really is a very simple haircut, but also a simple way to do it. So that's why I decided to do it. So as usually in all my haircuts in my system, the way I cut hair, well, first thing I do is I examine the shape of the head, texture of the hair, uh, before that good consultation with your client then you set up, then you create the hairstyle that you want to create uh, that you want your final result to be like you set up the hairstyle already like you can see right here I have already um, sectioned the hair combed it to the side all I have to do now is just take the excessive hair off and basically we are left with a uh, desired result. In this haircut we are not going very short we are actually staying at one and a half and then we are going to do a pointy sideburns and a square uh, rather round back but not too round nor too square so in between square and round so I will show you how to do that how to create not too square and not too round back line, back hairline, uh, and to also keep the neck wide. So as usually, first thing I do here is I remove the bulk of the hair using one and a half. I go straight up and I try to blend as much as possible uh, now with the top. So that eliminates the extra work. Uh, with the scissors and razor afterwards. Then I will uh, use my straight edge razor to connect the sides with the top. I will do a sculpting technique and then I will scissor over comb and that's about it. Here I'm using one uh, after I used one and a half now I'm using one uh, just to kind of get slightly closer in the nape area and uh, sideburns area as that grows very fast so uh, keeping it slightly longer makes it more elegant and uh, nicer looking so that was my first step my second step here is uh, to create uh, the hairline to clean the hairline this type of haircut is very simple and usually takes anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes so here as you can see I'm trying to stay pretty wide. I'm, st I'm staying with a natural hairline. I'm not pushing the hairline too far in. Uh, that way his neckline stays wide. Uh, you don't want to make it narrow. Sometimes you'll see uh, some barbers and stylists, they push the line in too far. It makes the ne neck look narrow. So here I'm just basically cleaning the line. Now I want to, as I said, I want to create a hairline here that is neither square nor round. So I don't want it to be too round, nor do I, nor do I want it to be too square. So first I do the side, and then I connect the lines between the sides basically I remove the, I create the back the bottom line and all I have to do is as you can see go from one side to another side uh, just connecting them now I have it pretty square with the sharp ends all I have to do now is just cut the corners and basically you have a really nice uh, neckline that is neither too sharp, too square, nor too round. It is pretty simple haircut. Uh, these are the classics. You get uh, we get quite a few of these in the barber shop, 
and it's really easy to do. This type of haircut is very low maintenance. You don't really have to do much. If you want, you can put a little product in the morning, uh, but uh, pretty much is really very simple to maintain. We're gonna do here pointy sideburns. So my competition in France was really great experience. It was quite different from what I uh, done previously. Uh, it really is a great, great experience. However, this is totally different type of work is where they have teams and coaches and sponsors. Uh, so it's definitely a new challenge for me. Uh, I'm planning to do it again. Um, I didn't do as good as I hoped I would, but naturally it, it makes sense because really it's totally different ball game. It's more of a blow drying styling, you know, fashion uh, versus uh, barbering or hair cutting as I've done pre previously. But it's something I've been working on and I really think that on the next competition I will do quite well. But now that that is over, I'm back full-time teaching and uh, cutting. So I'm available for classes, workshops. Right now we are offering a 40 hours apprenticeship program in my barbershop where you learn uh, in 40 hours how to do uh, razor work, scissor work, clipper work, blow drying and styling. As well, we also do private classes on the weekend on Sunday one-on-one. -on -one. So for more info on that, you can contact me via uh, my website uh, or you can just call at 860-995-5779, uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 6. Okay, so here uh, we are now going to connect the sides with the top. I chose to do this with a razor. I'm using here a sculpting technique. However, this can be also done with a clipper overcomb uh, or a scissor overcomb. Uh, I like using razor. It also gives me a break on my hand. If you keep doing the same technique over and over with your scissors, uh, you might uh, eventually develop a carpal tunnel or hand, uh, hand issues. This way you change the tool, which also causes you to change the technique and that way you are doing different techniques uh, as well preserving your hand. This razor is really a beautiful tool. Uh, I don't think I could do my job without this razor. I, I probably use it 25% uh, of all my work. Uh, but. Uh, you know, it is really a uh, really nice razor. And besides that razor cutting, I think it's coming back. It was very popular in the 70s and 80s, but somehow it kind of faded away. Uh, and uh, I really think that the razor work will come back. And uh, with all the new styles and trends, uh, some, some of them cannot be done without a razor. I really was inspired to do a lot of different techniques uh, in Europe, uh, especially fashion work I really liked. So uh, I'm going to be looking for models to do some uh, uh, fashion haircuts uh, and combine them with barbering, which will, which will make them really cool haircuts. Uh, but definitely uh, we need models for that type of work. So if I don't find models, I'll just do it on uh, mannequins. Here I'm taking most of the bulk with a razor, it's a sculpting technique. And then I'll go back uh, and I'll use a scissor over comb to refine the, the blend. Here on the top I'm just going to put a little texture. Now uh, for the top I'm going to do scissor over knuckle and uh, remove the length of the hair. 
as this haircut is pretty short. So in my system, MC Barber system, I have uh, four categories. I have a scissor category, uh, which uh, has about 10 different techniques for scissor over knuckles, scissor over comb, palm to palm, slight cutting, slithering, slight cutting, point cutting, and other techniques. Then we have uh, a razor, uh, uh, category which has sculpting, point cutting, notching, uh, blunt cutting and so on. Then we have a uh, clipper uh, category which consists of uh, you know fading with guards, fading without guards, uh, fanning, clipper over comb, clipper with a comb and so on. It also has about eight different techniques. Then uh, blow drying and styling really that's the one that's probably the most difficult of all of them learning how to use uh, your blow dryer and a brush together that your blow dryer doesn't contradict your brush and that your brush doesn't contradict your comb afterwards and, the, and using the proper proper product and applying the proper uh, product properly into the hair so all these things uh, we offer uh, in a four-year apprenticeship program uh, where you can see one-on-one -on -one how it's done and applied on the clients every day. Uh, in the near future, I might actually make videos, instructional videos, uh, but that's something that I'll have to uh, get a, a you know, professional crew to help me record and create these videos. Here I'm doing scissor over comb uh, to refine the blending and connecting the, the sides with the top. And barbering wouldn't be barbering without straight edge razor. Uh, so edges can only get so close but straight edge really cleans the, the hairline really nice. So it is my uh, really favorite tool to use there. Alright guys, this is it. This was before and now this is your after. Uh, you have a nice clean neckline. Slightly rounded as you can see, but not really square, not really round. Clean and nice classic haircut. Um, as we would say back home, these are back to school haircuts with adding a part in it. Alright guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, put a thumbs up if you like the video. And please uh, give me some comments and suggestions for my next videos and what you would like to see in my videos. Uh, my goal is to share the knowledge that I got over the years as a barber. Bye-bye.